Okay, this is a video about the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is how the trailer came and looked in 1972. Orange seats and green pattern curtains. I'm not sure the idea there. Uh, in the front, I replaced the cushions. They're now green as well. So the curtains, actually, I was going to get rid of them, but now they kind of look nice. Down here, there's an air conditioner where there used to be a propane and electric refrigerator. Uh, I would love to have one of those, but it's Florida. I'd rather have the AC, and since those things cost about $600, I can buy a lot of bags of ice for that. Um, so there's a little kitchen, the cute little cabinets, a little curve in them in the back, but it's still pretty big in there. Um, down here, this cabinet is by a wheel well, so it's not very big, but it holds everything we need. Um, this is for when we plug into power, that works. There is also, there's two systems in here. There's a regular electric and then there's a 12 volt. So this, that light, and there's another light over here. Those are all the 12 volt system. Uh, this was a mistake. We got hinges, there was, no, there was no table. And even those are standard for this style of camper, it really doesn't work. So I found a different kind of hinge for the table. It's just gonna run right on that little bar under the window there and then cut the back of the table so that it'll, it'll lay better. It'll just be better in general. So there's storage, of course, under all the seats. This is just storage over here. Over here on this side, there's a 10 gallon water tank and then a little bit of storage. Um, can't back up enough to see the closet, but it holds the, the poles for the bunk beds and doors. It's, it's actually more than enough for a weekend or even four or five days. And then the, the couch is um, <clears throat> it's actually a bunk bed. If you take that bottom part of the top and just lift it up, it, it becomes bunk beds. And here we just, there was a microwave here. I guess originally there was probably a nice propane stove. It's about 150 degrees in here right now. So the thought of cooking in the here, I can't imagine. So now probably have to do something better, but it holds lots of stuff in there for the kitchen. Flashlights. Um, all the vents and windows actually work. Nothing leaks. I could close this because of course it is going to rain again. So that's a good part of the bowler. Now I'll come to the bad part of the bowler, <laughs> which is the paint job on on it and all the fiberglass work. Hold on. It looks worse than it is because it's dirty. Um, but, you know, if it had paint, it would actually clean up. There's like little stress cracks here, little ones on the side of the door here, as well as some small ones near the hinges. Nothing big. Um, near the front, you can see there's a little bit of, you know, damage from rocks, but it's all very, you know, it's just Bondo. A little one crack here. This is coming out. I took this whole window cover off, and so that's going to get repainted. Stretched crack up by the bowler word. You know, it's, it's not fun, but it's not really a tremendous amount of work. The bottom part really needs no fiberglass work. I guess if I'm really ambitious, I can see if I can find another cover for this. This is a cover for the power link plug on. That's the vent. I don't know what this is a vent for, but that's a vent for the, the air conditioner or what have you. I've still got all these cool little Canadian things on here. It still has this um, Ottawa license plate. Now for the ugly it is the trailer itself. While I think that it is sound, it still surely needs to have all this rust removed and, and probably be sandblasted, I'm guessing brushed, I don't know, and then painted. That's going to be the bigger job, or it's the job I did because I really don't know shit about it. So anyway, that's the bowler, and there's our skies. Look, more rain coming. Yay.